So after using iPad for around four years now,、um, th- these are the apps that I personally use the most on my iPad. So the first app is Procreate. So I use Procreate to make my webtoon.、Um, I also use it to draw YouTube videos and I use it to make animation, of course, because it got a new animation feature and that's quite cool. And I also use it for fun too. And it's around 9.99 US dollars. I think everyone knows this would be coming. That it would be the first app that I use the most. So let's get going to the next one. And next one I use the most is Affinity Photo. The reason I recently use this a lot is because I entered university, and in the university I have a lot of works that need Photoshop, and I decided that I would try to use Affinity Photo instead to see if you can really do everything on an iPad, because that's something. That I still wish for and hope would happen in the future, because I try my best to not rely on computer. So I use Affinity Photo for editing a lot of pictures, of course, and I'm surprisingly editing a lot because I enter university. For ex- for me, the first semester in university is traditional drawing, so I have to use color pencil, EE pencil, acrylic, watercolor, or those to draw for now. So it's not really time for digital painting yet. But even so, I still have to edit the picture that I have to draw and use it as a reference while I'm drawing traditionally. So Affinity Photo came in a lot of help. And it's really convenient because it's on my iPad, and whenever my professor asking for a change, I could just directly show him what he want to change. And the next one is Affinity Designer, and Affinity Designer I'm using a lot because、um, there is a subject that requires to learn about Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Illustrator is for making logos and etc. And yeah, it's help a lot in making logos. Both Affinity Photo and both Affinity Designer cost around nineteen. Point ninety nine US dollars, and because of that amount, it depends on you if you want it or not. You only have to pay once for Procreate Affinity Photo Affinity Designer to use it. All the apps I mentioned here are only one time purchase, or it's free. So I'm I don't like <laughs> subscriptions. That's why I try to diverge from that a lot. And the next app would be Luma Fusion. And Luma Fusion I use for editing videos, like for on YouTube mostly. So that's only the few main ways that I'm using it. Luma Fusion is around nineteen point ninety nine US dollars, like Affinity App Photo and Affinity Designer, and it's also one time purchase. Next app is Rough Animators. So Rough Animators is pretty fun. It's a lot fun. So Alto Procreate has animation functions now. I try to. Not overload Procreate too much with all the fun little animations I do. So I use Procreate when the animation have to be like really crisp and like good animation. But I use Rough Animation for fun. But you can make a really completed animation on Rough Animation too, like the promo video that it has, which is really cool. And Rough Animator is two point ninety nine dollars, I think. Next app is Notability. So the reason I use this a lot was because when I was in high school, I used this to write notes. It's I I use this app because it's not laggy and the whole interface is simple, and it's around nine US dollars. But I after. Good Note updated into Good Note Five. I actually come to depend on Good Note more, which is the next app. Which I use Good Notes a lot now because it's easier to make templates on Good Notes. So because I'm not taking notes as much as before, because now I'm university, I'm using Good Notes to create storyboard more. So and Good Notes is a bit cheaper than Notability, so that's nice. And I think it's around seven point five to eight US dollars. I'm、uh, I'm bad at numbers. <laughs> 
And next app is this now is for fun, which I'm not using professionally, but I use BandLab to make little music. And the reason that I use this app is because it's free. It can also connect with the MIDI keyboard that I brought. Yeah, I'm broke, but BandLab is free and it's simple, so that's why I'm using it. Although I know that there's better apps out there, for me it's a just a hobby, and it's for fun, so I prefer the simple interface. But I do know that there's a better app out there, like the next app, GarageBand, which is made by Apple. And the reason it's good is because there's a lot of instrument, and you can do a lot of things with it. But I got confused trying to use it, so. Yeah, I use this a lot more for voice recording. Like right now, I'm using it to record the voice. And the reason I'm using this instead of voice memo or other apps like so is because it have the monitor function, aka what you're speaking onto the mic right now, you can hear it right away. So, for example, if the mic malfunctions, you can hear the static or something while you're using it. So that's quite convenient, and it makes me. Listen to my voice more clear and know how weird I sound. Um, next, next app, which is next app, uh, next app, next app. Um, this is a little extra in between app, which is medley. It's free, and you can make a little MIDI song with it, and it's quite fun because it's more simple and it's for anyone. Anyone can kind of use it. It's also on iPhone, and I kind of use it to play around a bit too. Yeah. You can try downloading it because it's fun and free. If you want to play with music sometime, you know, I don't. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional, and I use it, and it doesn't sound too bad if you just randomly press some keys. And the last app is Easy Canvas. So if all the apps here doesn't really works for you on an iPad, then you can just mirror your desktop app together with an iPad. So you can use an iPad as a drawing tablet, essentially. So yeah. But for now, the reason it's at the lowest of the top ten is because I haven't entered digital drawing yet. I'm still in traditional. Semester, so right now I'm not using it as much. But as for drawing for fun and stuff, it's really fun to draw. It feels natural to actually use it. That's why I'm glad I bought it. It have 14 day free trial. I don't remember how much it costs. As、uh, not too much, not not too expensive. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. And that's the end of the video of the top ten apps I use the most on iPad. I don't know what I'm doing. Um,、uh, I hope this video is not too awkward and too random to you.、Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you.